Okay, second movement, ecstatic. Um, I remember very well as a teenager discovering this word with the music of Olivier Messian, the French composer. Uh, it was in the quartet for the end of time, le quatuor pour la fin du temps, especially in the prière à l'éternité de Jésus, praise to the eternity of Jesus. There is at the same time the notion of ecstasy, thus of pleasure, uh, but also that of eternity, not in its religious nature, but still with a mystical feeling. Quarter tones should be played as a gentle alteration of the original note, otherwise it just sounds like a wrong note. So imagine, or better do the exercise with a colleague, that when you play for example, a F too low, someone else plays the normal F at the same time. And from there, enjoy, savor, try at least all the, the vertigo, the exhilaration that comes out even when you play alone. About the altissimo part, pianissimo, the desired effect is naturally that of the violin harmonics, at least on the first string, the chanterelle in French. There is this fantasy of fluttered high notes, um, pianissimo without force, like a, a light whistle. Uh, which we all dream, for example, in the slow movement of Jackie Baird's Concertino da Camera. In this tricky section, and if we remain in the reference to Messian, you can be inspired as well by the Onde Marteneau. you can say thank you to Alain Crepin because originally this passage was written uh, a major second higher with a very dangerous counter G. Well, good luck. You have to look for something between Messian, Ebert and probably Harry Potter. <laughs> 